The Canal Savoir project is a great opportunity to have your works shown on TV and also streamed live on the Canal Savoir website as the show is on air. The purpose of this video is to explain a few of the legal issues involved with participating in this project, specifically dealing with image rights and copyrights. In order to make sure that we respect copyright and other legal issues such as image rights, we've prepared this waiver that you can use as part of your project. The goal of this video is to explain how the image waiver and copyright license functions so that you understand the ramifications of this legal document. Now, before we look at the exact wording of the license, which we'll do in a second, I do want to talk about a few of the legal issues that are raised by this, uh, by this license, by this contract that, you, that will bind you and the university. Firstly, this uh, document covers image rights. Image rights deal with how your image can be captured by others. So for example, a photographer taking a picture of you can't necessarily use it as is uh, for an ad, for example, unless certain circumstances happen. So that's why journalists and, and other researchers can't just go into the public and start filming without people's consent. You have to obtain somebody's authorization, somebody's consent, by having them sign a form. And that's why we have an image waiver as part of this contract. Make sure that everybody who participates in, in, in a project like this understands that they will be, you know, they, their image will be captured and it will be shown on TV and it will be transmitted on the airways and it will also be streamed live. So just so you understand that you have to explain as the project manager or as the creative director or whatever you want to call yourself, you have to explain to everyone in your project that this is going to happen. You will be shown on TV. And so, uh, so that's the, for the image uh, waiver part. Now for the copyright part, and actually, a lot of people confuse image rights and copyrights, but they're not exactly the same thing. They actually come from different parts of, of the law. Copyright is its own standalone law at the federal level, and image rights can be tied to civil laws or, or the civil code or different other uh, legal uh, sources like that at the provincial level. So they're not exactly the same thing, but you usually see them together in a contract because it's just a useful combination to have. It's like a nice combo to make sure you get your image rights and your copyright. And so copyrights involve when you're giving a talk, uh, the fact that you're giving that talk, the, the, the performance is, a, is potentially a copyrightable thing. Make sure that everybody who participates also allows you via copyright, allows you to use their copyright as part of uh, their, uh, their participation in your project. So it's a, it's a dual situation. Copyright also applies to things that you may want to include in your project. For example, music. You may want to include some music in your, in your project. And um, although it, it makes your project a lot better, usually you have to obtain permission to play commercial music in a, in a film or in a video, especially if it's going to be on TV. So just, just so you understand that, we ask that you make sure you have proper authorization for, for, copyright, for using copyrighted works. We ask that you make sure that you have proper authorizations to include artwork or music or different other things uh, in, uh, in your project. So we've talked about the two main legal issues in this license, which are image rights. So the idea that you could forbid others from capturing your image, you know, just randomly taking pictures of you. So that's image rights. And then copyrights, the idea that you could forbid others from using the works, the creations that you've created. So the artwork, the music, the text, uh, and how you can incorporate that into, into your project. Okay, so that's what this license does. Uh, the other thing that, before I get into the license, the, the other thing I wanted to talk about was including others in your project. You know, if you're the only person holding, you know, if you have a tripod and you're in front of the camera speaking like I'm doing right now, um, there's not a lot of issues. But let's say you're a whole team, you get friends together, or you do this community project and you have a whole bunch of people working on this, you, have, you get some friends to hold the camera, some others to perform some, some great things. Uh, in front of the camera, well, you have to make sure that they understand what's going on. I mentioned it earlier, you should uh, have everybody who works on your project signed the exact same license that you have now. Because what's happening is you need to ask them for permission to do, 
you know, to, to, to show this work on, t on TV and uh, on, on streaming on the internet. So you have to, add, to make sure they, they, they know that this is going to happen. And the only th way we know that you've made sure to tell them is if you get everybody on your project to sign this license for you. Okay, so you have to have everybody who works on your project, who collaborates, sign a license, and then you hold on to that for safekeeping. And actually, if you want to become a professional uh, content developer, this is something that you'll have to get a habit into of getting into, is getting others to sign licenses to you so that you can use their creative endeavors as part of your, of your creative process. So that's one thing that we ask that you do is that everybody who works on your project should also sign a license like like the one that we're recommending that we're asking you to sign and then you hold on to that should there be any problems okay so uh, so there you go so please have everybody who works with you sign the same license and then you can hold on to that and then you sign a license as the main person as the artistic director so to speak and then you have to give that to uh, the university through your instructor uh, so that we can hold on to that for for your project. Okay, so so far so good. I hope I'm I'm explaining this well. Um, let's go into the text of the license because uh, that's where it gets interesting. And I'm going to actually read it with you. Uh, so image waiver and copyright license. So the first paragraph is just to give you some information about what this is about and who's involved. So we say by signing below, and, and the signature is, is, is a way to show is a way to show that you've given us consent, that you've given consent to this uh, to this contract. So you agree with it, you understand it, right? By signing below, hereby grant Concordia University, the university the right to use and broadcast my image, so that's the image right part, both in photographic as well as in electronic form, my name and my affiliation, because that's that, that part, my name and my affiliation, is part of your image, right? So your affiliation with the university for purposes of broadcasting and streaming on Canal Savoir. So this is just to say that it will be aired on TV and we may have some reruns. Actually, we know there are going to be reruns throughout the season. Um, and it's going to be streamed at the same time that it's on TV. Okay, so Canal Savoir is a telev television channel uh, and uh, associated website. So they have a TV, it's a TV station that's cable and, um, and they also have a website where they stream their shows. This right, so this other sentence, uh, this right also extends to recorded music, copyrighted artwork, images of participants or performers, performance pieces listed in the section entitled Project Below. So that is the copyright part of the issue, right? And we ask that you list on this form all the copyrighted works that you've used uh, as part of your project. And that's my work, so the work that you're including in this license, okay? Here, here it gets interesting. Here's a little bit of a drier legalese type uh, paragraph, but hopefully I'll be able to explain it. So this right is royalty free. So we're, you know, we're, we're Canal Savoir does not remunerate Concordia for us providing them with this content. So we're asking you to be a royalty free. So we, no payment is involved worldwide because actually Canal Savoir is, is, is carried by a cable distributors uh, outside of Quebec in a few uh, locations like um, I am in a few other countries we were told that it's not solely Quebec so we're just saying it's, it's worldwide. Non-exclusive, that means that exclusivity is a very important concept in copyright and we're not asking for exclusivity, it's non-exclusive so you could take the same creation of yours, the same work, and show it in other places, in a festival, in other places, because this is not a, an exclusive license. So it's non-exclusive, so you could actually, you still own your work. We're only asking you for a use right, you know, for a license, for the for a right to show on TV. So it's a non-exclusive right. And the only, you have to understand that, you know, you, you are not, after you, you sign this, because we have an, an, a non-exclusive license, you may not be able to sign exclusive licenses for this specific work during the for the duration of the contract. But usually, you don't have to worry about that too much. But it's important to say the consequence of the non-exclusive license. You're still the owner, uh, but because you've given us a non-exclusive license, you can't give somebody else an exclusive license because we have a non-exclusive with you. Anyways, I hope you understand. 
And finally, this is transferable. I mean, you're giving the university this license, but we have to transfer these rights to Canal Savoir so that they can show them on, on their TV channel. So they have these rights have to be transferable because it's not Concordia who's showing it on TV, it's Canal Savoir. We're just asking you to give us the right to transfer it to Canal Savoir. It's a bit of a technical issue, but it's not, it's not the end of the world. This right is granted for a period of four years, starting on the date indicated below. Four years, the reason behind the four years, uh, well, first of all, it's not in perpetuity, because you see that a lot in copyright contracts. They ask you forever, and we don't want that. We know that um, because of the way shows are cycled through the Canal Savoir programming, after four years, they should be complete with their, uh, with their um, um, reruns, we, with reshowing shows, you know, at night during off hours, because they, they do that after a while, and 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 we can guarantee that by after four years, um, they won't be using your content anymore. So at that point, our non-exclusive transferable license is is expires, and then you you gain back your complete exclusive rights to do whatever you want with the content. So that's the second paragraph. Third paragraph. I understand that my image, voice, name, and university affiliation, as well as my work, may be used both written in both written and electronic communications and presentations, may be broadcast, made available online, performed in public, or reproduced for the purpose. This is just to re to reemphasize the different kinds of image rights and copyrights that we're touching upon as per the first paragraph. It may seem like we're repeating some things, but we're actually giving a little bit more detailed about exactly what's gonna happen. So we're telling you, the purpose, as is written on, on the first paragraph, is to broadcast and stream live while the show is being broadcast on Canal Savoir. So that's the purpose. And then because it, this is going to happen, we're gonna touch upon your uh, your broadcast rates, your making available online rates, your public performance rates, and reproduction rates as per copyright. And with regards to your image rights, uh, we will, we're touching upon your, your voice, your name, and your university affili affiliation. So we're just reiterating precisely which image rights and copyrights we're touching upon. So, so that third paragraph is seems like it's repetitious. It, like, it seems like it's repetition, but it's not. It's really uh, more uh, uh, precise. It's, it's really specifying which specific copyrights or image rights we're touching upon with this license. Okay. Fourth paragraph. I waive any and all copyright, including moral rights, that I may have in my image and my work only with respect to, the uh, uh, to their use for the purpose. So waving away seem may seem like a, a, a big statement, but it's also just to say that um, because this, this whole process is uh, is not no, no money is being exchanged. I mean, Canal Savoir is a non-profit is a non-profit uh, entity. Concord Concordia is not profiting for this. Waiving any and all copyright with regards to the purpose just means that you understand that there's no money being exchanged at all, including to you because we're all doing this for for free essentially. Final paragraph. I further warrant that I own all the copyright image rights and moral rights allowing me to execute the pre present image waiver and copyright license. And this is the part where I was telling you earlier, uh, it's, it's, it, you must get this, this, this document signed by all the people who work on your project because of this final paragraph, because you're ultimately at the end of the day as the artistic director or the, the person in charge of the project, you're the one who must guarantee us that you've done due diligence and you've done, you made sure that you've obtained all image rights and copyrights. And, and, and the best way to do that is to, firstly, not use copyrighted content that's not yours in the project. And secondly, getting everybody who participates in the project to sign this license, okay? So this final uh, paragraph is just to remind you that you know, you're in charge of your project and you'll be responsible if there's anything wrong. It shouldn't be the case if you, if you abide by the rules of, of copyright, good taste, and all these other uh, rules that we know. Uh, but just, just so we know, we, we have to put that in there and, and you're responsible. And, and, and following uh, these, these paragraphs, we ask that you uh, sign and then you provide us some information about yourself, your name and your, your contact information. And remember that this license will be in effect for uh, four years. 
Uh, so uh, you may want to give us the contact information that we can use after, you know, maybe after you, you, you graduate or if you, you know, make sure the contact information is up to date that we can, uh, we can contact you should there be anything. There you go. I hope that was uh, a helpful explanation of, of this license and also giving you some insight about the legal issues and your responsibility with regards to uh, copyright and image rights uh, when it comes to participating in the Canada Savoir Project. Thanks for listening.